friends, today we are going to be looking at this story called The Umbrella Man by Roald Dahl. Now, who is Roald Dahl? Because all of you will need to know a little bit about the author and also mention his previous works because that kind of gives the examiner a sense that this particular student knows the previous works and is familiar with the work done by this particular author. So, Roald Dahl was a popular children's author of the 20th century. He was born in Wales in the UK and he initially worked as a salesman. But he also started writing stories for adults and also wrote poems. In fact, television is a very popular poem written by Roald Dahl. But it was his stories for children that really made him very, very popular. His work, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, is the most widely read of his books. In fact, he's also written scripts for many movies. Roald Dahl, an author, uh, UK lo puttaru, and Scotland, Wales, England untundi, dhan lo Wales lo puttaru. Aayna pedda vala kuda rasaru, poems kuda rasaru, kani annet kana ekko popularity aayna ki children's stories raayadam lo aayna ekto urkindi. Chala popular author uh, pillala thoti, aayna rasi na Charlie and the Chocolate Factory anna di uh, pillala chala enjoy jesi chadu taru, meer epada missai payaru aante, oka sari elli adi kuda chadu aante, adikati chala enjoy jesi taru. Television anna oka poem kuda, ipppudi vala kuda relevant ga unna poem, adi kuda aayna ni rasaru. Okay, so let's now uh, talk about the story, uh, Uma, because the Umbrella Man is a very interesting story. It's a story of a mother and her daughter and a person who comes with the umbrella. So what's really the mystery about this whole umbrella? This story is a 12-year-old girl narrates to natto manukostundi. This amma hi 12-year-old girl and her mother London kelto naru ka dentist appointment kosum. Dentist appointment ayin taro ata walo ko cafe keli amma coffee dagu tadi amma yemo banana split. Ante yado ka ice cream lopal ice cream ontundi. Arati pandu lopal ice cream petti yadi itines tundi. Tar taro ata bite kocche tapadi ki ar 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 ayin tadi timeo. Apadi ki varsham bada bothondi. Apur walo sere taxi dis kun damo mana dekhe umbrella gorda leedi gadaani. Atla try just to napuro taxi leen door. मरचिपया मुसला उंडे फॉलो लास्ट के पब पबे अब विस्की बिर् अटाई कदा अट्ला चोट आये लपल्लार वीलू बैठ नी विंडो नीचे चूस्टर एम चेस्ट आये असल अंग्लैंड को हाट अद्लांटर इलांट वेदर इंका वेटर आ को हाट चोट पेटे आये बार दिल्ली अड़ा वील को विपचुद लिप मूवेंट तो दिन आ बार मैन ग्लास इला ब्रउन कलर लिक्सी ईनता ओके दागे सतोष ओल्ड मैन 
అప్పుడు ఈ అమ్మాయి అనుకుంటుంది ట్యాక్సీలు వెళ్ళారని చెప్పారు కానీ ఇప్పుడేమో ఏం చేస్తున్నాడు ఆ డబ్బులతోటి ఆ వన్ పౌండ్ తోటి ఆయన విస్కీ కొనుక్కున్నాడు అని తెలిసిపోతుంది వీళ్ళకు అప్పుడు ఏం చేయబోతున్నాడు ఇంత మ్యాడ్ మ్యాన్ మనకి ట్వంటీ పౌండ్ అంబ్రల్లా ఇచ్చేసి వన్ పౌండ్కి ఆయన తాగుతాడా అని మళ్ళీ ఆయన టక్ 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 అని మళ్ళీ బయటకు వస్తూ ఉంటారు హ్యాట్ వేసుకొని కోట్ వేసుకొని అక్కడ చాలా అంబ్రల్లాస్ ఉంటాయన్నమాట వర్షాకాలం కదా అక్కడ ఒక అంబ్రల్లా కూల్గా తీసుకొని బయటకు మళ్ళీ వస్తాడు వీళ్ళు మళ్ళీ ఫాలో అవుతారు అట్లా హైట్ చేసుకొని ఫాలో అవుతే ఆయన మళ్ళీ వేరే వైపు వెళ్ళి అక్కడ వెళ్ళి ఇంకో ఆయనకి ఇట్లాగే ఒక పౌండ్కి అమ్మేసి మళ్ళీ ఈ బార్కే రాడు ఇంకో బార్కి వెళ్తూ ఉంటాడు అప్పుడు అమ్మకు అర్థమవుతుంది అనమాట ఈయన మళ్ళీ ట్రిక్ చేశాడు ఎవరిదో అంబ్రెల్లా తీసుకొని మన దగ్గర ట్వంటీ పౌండ్ అట్లా అని చెప్పేసి మన దగ్గర వన్ పౌండ్ తీసుకొని అంటే సారాంశం ఏంటంటే ఎక్కడైనా మిమ్మల్ని ట్రిక్ చేయొచ్చు అన్నది పొలైట్గా ఉండొచ్చు చాలా స్వీట్గా మాట్లాడచ్చు కానీ మీరు ట్రిక్ అయిపోతారు ఒక్కొక్కసారి అన్నది సారాంశం సో ద ఇంట్రెస్టింగ్ పార్ట్ ఇస్ దర్ ఇస్ అ ట్విస్ట్ అట్ ది ఎండ్ ఆఫ్ ద స్టోరీ సో ద ది ఆథర్ హ్యాస్ మేడ్ యూ ఇంట్రెస్టెడ్ ఇన్ ద స్టోరీ రిమెయిన్ ఇంట్రెస్టెడ్ ఇన్ ద స్టోరీ టిల్ ద వెరీ ఎండ్ this other interesting thing is that the title of the story is called the umbrella man but the interesting and the ironic part is that uh, the umbrella does not belong to the man you know so it's interesting that he has called it the umbrella man so i'm going to go through the story the important portions of the story sometimes it also can come as an excerpt and then questions can be asked from depending on the excerpt for the story so i'll go through the important stories and we will also mark the keyword so please keep the book with you also have a pencil and a pen and a notebook in which you can write down the key points and also underline the keywords adi chala important ipudu i am going to tell you about a funny thing that happened to my mother and me yesterday evening so the girl is telling the story in first person and she is telling you a story which happened yesterday evening so very immediacy uh, is there apude jariginattu anamata manaki ninna jarigina vishayam andi nenu meeku cheptunnanu ante chaala conversational tone idi children's story kada andukani aina style kuda chaala simple ga untundi conversational ga untundi and she is telling you right at the beginning so that she is preparing you for what the story is because she says it's a funny thing about a funny thing that happened to my mother and me so she sees it as a funny thing irrespective of what happened later on because they do feel that they were cheated in a sense though they got a good umbrella in return but the little girl is actually finding the whole episode very funny i am 12 years old and i am a girl my mother is 34 but i am nearly as tall as she already so she's giving a lot of detail the age how they look how she is in terms of height as her mother yesterday afternoon my mother took me to london to see the dentist he found one hole it was in the back tooth and he filled it without hurting me too much so you see the amount of detail that roll doll is giving as part of a children's story ante palla ki repair cheskonu vachanu naake em noppe em padaledu tarvata ice cream kuda dani dani reason undochu endukante eppudu after a tooth kind of a dentistry they ask you to eat something cold andukane banana split ice cream tintadam after that we went to a cafe i had a banana split and my mother had a cup of coffee by the time we got up to leave it was about 6 o'clock okay uh when we came out of the cafe it had started to rain so they're setting the putting the creating the setting for the umbrella we must get a taxi my mother said we were wearing ordinary hats and coats and it was raining quite hard ante raincoat laga kadu manamu normal weather ketla esukuntamo atlanti dress esukunnaru andukante veellaku umbrella kavali anna oka oka necessity in cheppadan kosam okay kadichipothunnar lekapothe so uh, the, 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 it also kind of conveys what kind of social background they come from because the uh, the mother says i wish we had a car with a chauffeur chauffeur ante driver that you know we had a luxury cars lo usually chauffeur antaru driver annakunda chauffeur antaru dani spelling kuda meer chusukondi yeah and just then a man came up to us he was a small man and he was pretty old probably 70 or more so 12 year old 34 year old and he's double the mother's age about 70 years old so look at the amount of detailing that roldal has given in this story ante manaku oka sympathy kuda raavadan kosam chaala elderly man and he was small, he was also him. small in height he raised his hat politely that's a very british way of kind of showing respect when you take off the hat and kind of bend it head a little and said to my mother excuse me i do hope you will excuse me he had a fine white mustache and bushy white eyebrows and a wrinkly pink face detail please underline these keywords white mustache bushy white eyebrows and a wrinkly pink face please remember this great description that roldal has given he was sheltering under an umbrella which he held high over his head so please remember these details now then he asked them for a favor 
ఇన్ దిస్ లైన్ వేర్ ఇట్స్ ఈస్ ఎస్ మై మదర్ సెట్ వెరీ కూల్ అండ్ డిస్టెంట్ అంటే చాలా ఫ్రెండ్లీగా లేదు అమ్మాయేమో ఓకే చెప్పండి మీరు అన్నట్టు అట్లా అడిగారు అనమాట సో దెన్ ద డాటర్ సేస్ ఐ సా మై మదర్ లుకింగ్ అట్ హిమ్ సస్పీషియస్లీ సస్పీషియస్లీ ఈస్ ఎ కీ వర్డ్ ప్లీజ్ అండర్ లైన్ ఇట్ షీ ఈస్ అ సస్పీషియస్ పర్సన్ దిస్ వాట్ హర్ daughter also thinks my mother she is especially suspicious of two things <laughs> strange men and boiled eggs ante oka funny oka description anamata boiled eggs ki enduku funny idiga untaru ante than antundi boiled egg in tarvata danni cut chesesi lopala itla itla spoon tho chustadu atla lopala nunchi elike emaina vastade emo ani adi andukani atla chustadu just to set a funny tone or a humorous uh, uh, yeah. tone to this light humorous tone and with strange men she has a golden rule which says the nicer the man seems to be the more suspicious you must become so any man sh- you don't know she says if they are being very nice to you you actually must be more suspicious adhe mi amma father kuda cheptu undochu evaraina chaala manchiga mi toti pravartiste meer koncham jagratha ga undandi enduku vaallu atla untunnaru anadi aalochinchalani cheptaru meek safety cheppe tappudu kuda so this old man was particularly nice he was polite he was well spoken he was well dressed he was a real gentleman and the reason i knew he was a gentleman was because of his shoes so just see the amount of detail mustache the color of his face even the eyebrows that he has you know the amount of and it also shows that this girl is very Observant. sharp in very observation you know in her observation she is very sharp so she says because of his shoes i knew he was a gentleman you can always spot a gentleman by the shoes he wears was one of my mother's favorite sayings this man had beautiful brown shoes and it is also me shows that 12 year old child who is very influenced by the mother in uh, outlook uh, uh, in deciding who is a good person who is a bad person and how do you judge that that usually happens kada pillalu vaalla amma etla nerpiste atla koncham vaalla mana psychology kuda atlage untund annata the truth of the matter is the little man was saying i have got myself into a bit of a scrape scrape as in a bit of a trouble trouble i need some help not much i assure you it's actually nothing but i do need it you see madam old people like me can become terribly forgetful so he's kind of building up the base for what he's, mm. what he's going to say my mother's chin was up and she was staring down at him along the full length of her nose so it's almost like a long nose she has and she was staring at him still looking very suspiciously and not in a very friendly manner and look a word used to say a frosty nosed stare of my mother frosty ante neelemo ice ayinappudu frost antaru danni frost ante chala cold idiga ante warm ga lekunda warm anadi friendly anamata cold ante chala distant ga untadu so it was a fearsome thing this frosty nosed stare stare as in looking at very somebody without blinking blink, without blinking your eyes of my mother most people go to pieces completely when she gives it to them you know most people don't particularly feel very comfortable they are actually a little scared when she actually looks at them go to pieces ante vallu asalu vaalla stability ko feel right vaalla rattled aipothar anamata i want so my aipothar I once saw my own head headmistress began to stammer and simper like an idiot when my mother gave her a really foul frosty no sir you know that her own headmistress of a school itself What's began scared? to stammer you know in st- when you s- feel afraid be- feel scared your sentences are don't form very easily you know uh, 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 you, you know that kind of a thing so the headmistress began to stammer so the girl also has a good memory she remembers that particular instance incident from uh, what she said he gave a gentle smile but the little man on the pavement with the umbrella over his head did not bat an eyelid he gave a gentle smile as said i beg you to believe madam that i am not in the business of stopping ladies in the street and telling them my trouble so he is trying to convince say, them and convince madam them that i am a good man usually cheyanamma naaku ivala itla porapaata ayipoyindi first time nenu itla marchipothunanu kabatti meer koncham help cheyalanu cheptunnar then i felt quite embarrassed by my mother's the, the, the mother is still sharp she says i should hope not you know she's a I you know that I hope that's the case so I felt quite embarrassed uh, by my mother's sharpness I wanted to say her, to her oh mummy for heaven's sake he's a very old man and sweet and polite and he's some sort of trouble so don't be beastly to him so beastly beastly is like an animal you know so she feels that her mother is almost he having knew. the aggression of an animal so she wants to tell her mother that you know calm down don't be like that kind of a behavior with he this old man he's such a nice man yeah, and that usually avutadu kada పిల్లలు అమ్మ కరెక్ట్ గా బిహేవ్ చేయట్లేదు మా స్కూల్లో వచ్చినప్పుడు చాలా షార్ప్ గా మాట్లాడుతున్నారు మా ఫ్రెండ్స్ తోటి అట్లా ఒక ఫీలింగ్ ఉంటుంది సిమిలర్లీ ఇట్స్ ఎ ట్వెల్వ్ ఇయర్ ఓల్డ్ అనమాట సో షీ ఇస్ టెల్లింగ్ అర్ మా షీస్ లుకింగ్ అట్ అర్ మదర్ అండ్ సే ఇంత రూడ్గా అవసరమా సో ద లిటిల్ ద లిటిల్ మ్యాన్ షిఫ్టెడ్ ఇస్ అంబ్రేలా ఫ్రమ్ వన్ హ్యాండ్ టు ద అదర్ ఐ హ్యావ్ నెవర్ ఫర్ గోటన్ బిఫోర్ సో హ
uh, wallet at home so he is not having the money to hire a taxi and go back home when it is already raining very hard so he says my wallet uh, i must have left it in my other jacket again the mother the word uses sternly please underline it so she still cold frosty so if if you have to use the words for a mother frosty nosed cold sternly that's the kind of adjectives which have been used for the mother i must have left it in my other jacket isn't it the silliest thing to do are you asking me to give you money the mother asked said oh good gracious me not heaven forbid i should never i, I should never ever do that then what are you asking my mother said do hurry up we are getting scoped us in so the mother is very impatient you know she is not very friendly she is not having the time to kind of listen to this man's story so she says hurry up because we are getting drenched in the rain akkada oka word use chesaru soak to the skin ante chaala tadichipothunamu annadi artham akkada yeah. i know you are and it, that's why i'm offering you the umbrella of mine to protect you and to keep forever if if only if only what if only you would give me in return a pound for my taxi fare just to get me home so now he says i know you are getting drenched so that's why i'm offering you this umbrella to keep it with yourself forever if in return if you can give me 1 pound so that i can use that to hire a taxi and go back home my mother was still suspicious see the word suspicious has been used continuously by the daughter for the mother if you had no money in the first place and how did you get here she is asking him questions now she is counter questioning him cross questioning him i walked every day i go for a lovely long walk and then i summon a taxi to get me home i do it every day though yeah so he has his answers ready she is asking him the right questions but he also has his answers ready because as we realize later he is a seasoned liar so he says every day i walk i come here and then i um, summon a taxi in order to go back home so why don't you walk home now my mother said oh i wish i i could i do wish i could but i don't think i could manage this on this silly old legs of mine I have gone too far already. Chala nadi chan ka bati ne nadwa le nu ani ani je pesu naar mata. Tanu alo chisso di na correcte je pesu naar chewing her lower lip ante thinking an mata. Yeah, mm. she is beginning to melt a little. Melt a little means she is beginning to feel Soften a little aye. sympathetic. Koncham sympathy aindi. So she is kind of thinking that okay, maybe is telling the right story. And the idea and the second reason is two reasons. One, she is feeling a little sympathetic because of all the story. Then the image of the old man. and third the idea of getting an umbrella to shelter under must have been tempted must have tempted her a good deal she also because umbrella is good quality for 1 pound to get that umbrella he also say, uh, sells that to her he says it's lovely it's of silk and it cost me 20 pounds and he says that uh, i you know i'd rather give my umbrella and get home very quickly because uh, that's not what i want and that's when the mother goes for the purse and matter she goes for the purse clasp of for a purse antnar అంటే హోల్డింగ్ ఇట్ అది దానికి ఒక బక్కల్ ఉంటుంది కదా దాని దగ్గరికి పోతుంది బక్కల్ ఓపెన్ చేయడానికి కోసం షీ సో మీ వాచింగ్ హర్ అంటే నేను ఇప్పుడు ఇట్లా చూస్తున్నాను మా అమ్మని స్టాన్ గా ఎందుకు ఇంత ఆయన చెప్తున్నప్పుడు మీరు అడ్వాంటేజ్ తీసుకుంటున్నారా అన్నది నెక్స్ట్ పారాగ్రాఫ్ లో వస్తున్నాను సో అగైన్ నౌ ఇట్స్ అ డాటర్ హు ఇస్ గివింగ్ హర్ వన్ ఆఫ్ మై ఓన్ ఫ్రాస్టీ నోస్ లో సో దిస్ ఫ్రాస్టీ నోస్ ఇస్ అ ఫ్రేజ్ విచ్ హస్ బీన్ యూస్డ్ క్వైట్ ఆఫన్ బై రోల్ డాల్ ఇన్ దిస్ పర్టిక్యులర్ స్టోరీ డిసప్రూవల్ అన్నమాట యా ఇట్ యా ఇట్ కన్వేస్ డిసప్రూవల్ దట్ యు డు నాట్ లైక్ వాట్ ఇస్ బీయింగ్ డన్ अर्लियर బై ది మదర్ అండ్ నౌ బై ది డాటర్ సో నౌ లిసన్ మమ్మీ ఐ వాస్ టెలింగ్ హర్ యు సింప్లీ మస్ట్ నాట్ టేక్ అడ్వాంటేజ్ ఆఫ్ టైర్డ్ ఓల్డ్ మెన్ ఇన్ దిస్ వే ఇట్ ఇస్ అ రోటెన్ థింగ్ టు డు రోటెన్ షీ ఇస్ నాట్ సేయింగ్ ఆల్ దిస్ ఇది మనకి ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ చేస్తున్నారు ఆ లుక్ లో ఏ ఉంది అన్నది యా అండ్ ఇట్ ఇస్ అ రోటెన్ థింగ్ రోటెన్ ఇస్ అ వెరీ స్ట్రాంగ్ వర్డ్ రోటెన్ ఇస్ సంథింగ్ విచ్ ఇస్ డికేడ్ విచ్ ఇస్ స్పాయిల్డ్ అండ్ షీ ఇస్ బ్యాడ్ థింగ్ ఇట్స్ అ వెరీ బ్యాడ్ థింగ్ అండ్ అ నెగటివ్ థింగ్ టు డు మై మదర్ పాస్డ్ అండ్ లుక్డ్ బ్యాక్ అట్ మీ దెన్ షీ సెడ్ టు ది ఓల్డ్ మ్యాన్ ఐ డోంట్ థింక్ ఇట్స్ క్వైట్ రైట్ దట్ ఐ షుడ్ టేక్ అన్ అంబ్రెల్లా ఫ్రమ్ యు వర్త్ 20 పౌండ్స్ సో ది కాస్ట్ ఆఫ్ ది అంబ్రెల్లా ఇస్ 20 పౌండ్స్ అండ్ ఇన్ రిటర్న్ షీ హస్ టు గివ్ జస్ట్ 1 పౌండ్ so in that sense she thinks okay she's tempted by the whole idea but she says no i don't think it's a good idea i would much rather give you just a taxi fare and be done with it you know i'll just give you that 1 pound no 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 it's out of the question i would not dream of it not in 1 million years i would never accept money from you like that take the umbrella dear lady and keep the rain off your shoulder so the because the man is actually looking for that 1 pound kada so he is saying i will never take that Uh, one pound from you and not give you the umbrella so you need that umbrella and i will give it to you and he is saying that i am a very good man very honest man and i won't take money just like that from you so the mother now gives the daughter a triumphant sideways look so she is looking at her in a very triumphant see he is give the one who is giving me an umbrella not me i am not trying to take it from her i am not trying to cheat him i am not trying to take advantage he is the one who wants to give me the umbrella so it's a triumphant sideways kind of a look 
and he took it um, uh, she fished um, uh, so there you are you are telling she was telling me you are wrong he wants me to have it she fished into her purse and took out a pound note she held it to the little man he took it and handed her the umbrella he pocketed the pound raised his hat again gave a quick bow and thank you madam thank you and he was gone fished and a word again chaala samalu unnapudu oka chinna di tiyadaniki fishing antar come under me keep dry darling my mother said aren't we lucky we i never had a silk umbrella before she's so she's pleased now mm-hmm. so she's pleased and also it shows that you know they are kind of middle class they never had a silk umbrella which is something which is associated more with rich people i couldn't afford it she says so it kind of gives you a sense of the economic status of this particular family the mother and daughter not very well off so why were you so hard to him in the beginning she still says in the beginning she was that her mother was not very friendly and not you know not uh, making the person comfortable i wanted to satisfy myself that he was not a trickster you know trickster as in a fraud you know somebody who's out to cheat and i did he was a gentleman and i'm very pleased i'm very tired so she thinks that she has got a good deal that she has not been cheated but later on we realize that she is the one who has been cheated but in a different way but she changed her mind about this old man anamata first she chaala suspicious ga undi ipude emo chaala manchi ayina actually chaala gentleman aina titled gentleman ga kuda undachu antadi titled ante akada knights atla okoka sir ane danante istaru titles koncham noble people ki koncham manchi class of people ki atla unna gentleman ante tana abhiprayam full change ayipoyindi yeah and a real gentleman she went on wealthy too otherwise he wouldn't have had a silk umbrella i wouldn't be surprised if he's a title person sir harry goldsworthy or something like that she manchi peru untadi annatu anukuntunaru yes mummy this will be a very good lesson to you never rush things always take your time when you are summing someone up so she's giving advice which is very ironic okay as we will learn later that she's giving advice to her daughter that you should always behave in such a way you should not kind of immediately come to conclusions you should ask the right questions and then take your decisions then the daughter says there he goes see another way she says he's crossing the street goodness mummy what a hurry is in you know so, because earlier he had said old legs he can't walk and all that but look at the hurry with which he's walking he's walking so fast tired ga unnan ani cheparu ipude emo chaala almost parigette laaga aina hurry ga elipothunnaru next paragraph lo there is a particular phase dodge nimbly in and out of the traffic dodge as in you know when you with a lot of traffic and you're dodging the traffic cars and you're just running fast avoiding any obstruction but moving very fast ad anamata nimbly ante and nimbly ante it's also quick footed you know you are kind of moving very fast uh um, he doesn't look very tired to me so they are looking at him and they are kind of this thing he doesn't look very tired to me why did he say that why did he say that so then they decide that what to do should we take a taxi and go back home or should we follow the old man because she is not feeling very happy about what has happened because just one minute before she has given him a good certificate that he could be a titled person you know sir harry goldsworthy or some name like that so she she sees him in a terrific hurry that he was bustling along the pavement pavement the footpath side stepping the other pedestrians and swinging his arms like a soldier on the march you know like this he is walking very very fast you know almost with a sense a of, of purpose energy. with a lot of energy and with a sense of purpose that he wants to do something immediately uh, he is up to something my mother said stony faced so frosty nosed and now stony faced stony faced ante no, no expression. expression you know no expression and looking not happy not pleased a bit she of anger she wants to find out what happened and so then she says but i'm going to find out so she also kind of takes her daughter's arm and follows him so then they are kind of following him and we came to the corner and turned right the little man was about 20 yards ahead of us so he's not very far off he was scuttling along like a rabbit a rabbit is an um, uh, animal which Small kind of small steps and jumps very fast jumps very fast so you know it shows a particular speed of that old man and we had to walk very fast to keep up with him the rain was pelting down harder than ever now and i could see dripping from the brim of his hat onto his shoulder so she, they could see that is raining very hard from his hat it's kind of dripping on his shoulders but we were snug and dry under our lovely big silk umbrella so because of his umbrella they were actually dry and snug snug means again you know comfortable, comfortable. sense of comfort only so then they say i don't care if then the daughter says what if he turns around and sees us following him the mother says i don't care what he thinks you know so the mother is not very kind of bothered about you know what others will think she wants to do what she thinks is right he lied to us he said he was too tired to walk any further and he's practically running off of our running us off our feet he's a bare faced liar bare faced ante with a straight face with a straight face lying Cheap that is called bare faced he's a crook 
you Truk mean ante vedava yeah. mm. you mean you mean he is not a title gentleman so now she kind of confronts you know earlier you said he could be a sir harry goldsworthy or something so you, you are now saying that he is not a title gentleman and and uh, the earlier phrase running us off our feet is you know running faster than us my mother is not happy with that question she says be quiet hmm at the next crossing the little man turned right again then he turned left then right you know ante chaala itla itla elthunar anamata i am not giving up now uh, my mother said he has disappeared i cried where has he gone now he went in that door you know, i saw him into that house good heavens it's a pub you know pub as we explained earlier is a place where you can have liquor uh it was a pub in big letters right across the front it said the red lion you know one of the questions that could be asked is that you know what is the name of the pub where the old man disappeared it's called the red lion and it was written in big capital letters you are not going in are you mummy the doctor is not very happy with whatever is happening no we will not go into the pub we will watch it from outside and also, also youngsters don't go into pubs yeah. i mean she's a minor girl yeah. hmm. right so there was a big plate glass window along the front of the pub and although it was a bit steamy on the inside so they could see from outside so what did they see outside they identified the person out there and they saw that it was full of people lot of cigarette smoke and the little old man was there right in the middle he was he had removed his coat he had removed his hat and he was going towards the bar counter man. bar counter the barman and he placed both his hands and spoke to him and he they could they were trying to read his lip movements as to what he is doing and then they saw that a small glass was brought with a brown color liquid which was obviously alcohol and he placed that one pound note which the mother had given on the counter as payment that's my pound the mother said hissed hissed as in slightly that snake is the and the angry snake chase a sound pair hissed kind of a thing that's my pound it's almost like a whispering by golly he's got a nerve he's got a nerve means he's rather you know how daring and much how cheeky of him you know how daring of him to do something like this what's in the glass i asked you know obviously a 12 year old girl doesn't know she says whiskey my mother said neat whiskey that is no without no water. mixing any water but the barman did not give him any change from the pound that must be a treble whiskey my mother said what's a treble three times in normal measure that is a treble whiskey is that you know when you kind of get three triple times and treble are both uh, interchangeable words and um, here obviously it means that you know he didn't give any change means that the entire glass cost 1 pound and the little man picked up the glass and put it to his lips he tilted it gently then he tilted it higher and he drank it till the last drop one girl panni taage sar anamata appudi amma edu inda expensive drink ayi atla taage sar ani and uh, in one shot he finished off the entire drink that's a jolly expensive drink jolly is that's a very expensive drink it's ridiculous fancy paying a pound for something to swallow in one go so the mother is simply not approving she doesn't like it at all for two reasons one to pay a pound for something to swallow in one go and the second and the more important reason that she has, he has cheated her and he has paid that one pound that he took from her in order to pay for the thing so for two reasons she is angry with that old man but the daughter will say it's not for one pound in fact he has paid 20 pounds isn't it he gave us also an umbrella yeah hmm. oh so he uh, so it, it, it did uh, he must be mad so the mother thinks yeah oh yeah of course he did uh, gave us a 20 pound uh, umbrella so he must be mad you know crazy The little man was standing by the bar with an empty glass in his hand. He was smiling now, and a sort of a golden glow of pleasure. Golden glow means he's looking very happy and you know, glowing. After having a drink, was spreading over his round pink face. I saw his tongue come out to lick the uh, white moustache as though searching for that one last drop of that precious whiskey. So he's obviously someone enjoying who's his enjoying drink. his drink. Slowly he turned away from the bar, and now the mother and the daughter see that he turns away from the bar and edges his way back through the crowd to where his hat and coat were hanging. Because usually at the entrance to the bar, because especially when it's raining, you don't like to go with wet clothes. So you take out the coat, you take out the hat, and you put it at the entrance to the umbrella. That is usually the, the practice in many Western many, countries. In that re- in you take off your hat country. and your coat outside, and then walk inside with your normal clothes. He put on his hat. He put on his coat at the entrance. Then, in a manner so superbly cool, you know. Now you see the superbly cool and casual that you hardly noticed at all. He lifted from the coat rack one of the many wet umbrellas hanging there, and off he went. अंडे तनो चाला कूल गा करने ची इनको कल अम्ब्रेला वेट अम्ब्रेला ने तीस कोनी अटला एल्पोट नरमट अंडे चाला. As though it belonged to him. 
as though it belonged to him you know without raising any arousing any suspicion you know nobody should get suspicious that he's walking away with someone else's umbrella do you see that my mother street did, did you, you see what, what he did ante vere evardo umbrella itla etko nelipothunadu annadi vaala mother ki chala shock anamata so she says he's coming out so we lowered our umbrella to hide our faces and out from under it uh out he came but he never looked in our direction he opened his new umbrella over his head and scurried off down the road the way he had come so that's his little game that he steals the umbrella from the rack goes and gives it to somebody for 1 pound to come here and drinking all over again neat i said super so the little girl is almost appreciative of the, the game the, the game, con game the con game the cheat that cheating that the old man does we followed him back to the main street from where he had first met him we watched him as he proceeded with no trouble at all to exchange the new umbrella for another pound note this time it was with a tall thin fellow who did not even have a coat or hat as soon as the transaction was completed our little man trotted off down the street and was lost in the crowd this time he went in an opposite direction to another hey, pound expert anamata itlanti dan cheyadamlo cool ga chestunnaru expert ga and not at the same place adhe place ki elleledu adhe bar ki kuda vapas elletledu endukante akkada vallu aa evaro yetukellaru kada umbrella ani If someone notices, yeah. yeah. So he doesn't want to be caught. So you see how clever he is. He never gave, goes to the same pub twice. He could be doing this all night. Yes, my mother said, of course. But I bet, I'll bet he prays like mad for rainy days. But he can do this cheating only on rainy days. You know, it has to rain for him, for him to do this steel umbrellas, silk umbrellas to do this game. So that's the nice little twist that Roald Dahl has brought at the end of the story. So. సర్ప్రైజ్ ఎలిమెంట్ కోపం ఏం రాలేదు వాళ్ళకు అయ్యో ఎట్లా చీట్ అయిపోయాం కదా అని ఒక దట్స్ వై షీ కాల్డ్ ఇట్ ఫస్ట్ ఇట్ సెల్ఫ్ ఫనీ స్టోరీ దే ఆర్ నాట్ వి వర్ సో యాంగ్రీ విత్ వాట్ హ్యాపెన్ బట్ దే జస్ట్ థాట్ ఓ మై గాడ్ యు ఆర్ సో స్మార్ట్ అబౌట్ ద వే హీ డిడ్ ఇట్ దోడ్ అప్రూవ్ ఆఫ్ ఇట్ వాట్ యా దే డిడ్ అప్రూవ్ ఆఫ్ ఇట్ సో దే లాస్ ద 1 డాలర్ బట్ దే గాట్ అ 20 డాలర్ నైస్ సిల్క్ అంబ్రెల్లా ఇన్ రిటర్న్ uh but at the end of the story it was also a case where you know they had been taken for a ride they had actually fallen for the old man story in the sense that you know whatever he said they believed it initially after feeling a little suspicious so what you need to do is to uh, we will be looking at the questions in another video we will be doing all the stories questions but a couple of quick points you need to know the description of the three people the daughter the mother and the old man in great detail mark all the keywords included in the answers whenever you are asked a question in the examination paper to you also need to know the entire theme what we discussed about the theme of cheating and the theme of you know trickery you know of uh, the old man in a sense being a little clever uh, and doing this little trick in order to ensure that he has his drink every day and especially on every rainy day yeah so manam paragraphs baga nyapakam pettukunte usually etla ostundante aa paragraph lo vachi మిమ్మల్ని డిస్క్రిప్షన్ అడగచ్చు వన్ అది జ్ఞాపకం పెట్టుకోవాలి ఎవరు వీళ్ళు ఎక్కడ వచ్చారు ఎందుకు వచ్చారు ఆయన ఎట్లా కలిశారు అవన్నీ మీరు జ్ఞాపకం పెట్టుకోవాలి సింపుల్ సెంటెన్సెస్ లో రాస్తే కూడా సరిపోతుంది అండ్ కాంటెక్స్ట్ మీకు స్టోరీ చదివేసారు అనుకోండి ఇప్పుడు విన్నారు కాబట్టి మీకు గుర్తుంటుంది ఇట్లా జరిగింది ఇట్లా జరిగింది అన్నది అది సింపుల్ సెంటెన్సెస్ లో రాసుకోవడం మనం ఇంకొక వీడియోలో ఇట్లా క్వశ్చన్స్ ఇట్లా వస్తున్నప్పుడు మనం ఎట్లా ఆన్సర్ చేయాలి అన్నది కూడా చూస్తాం ఓకే సో ఐ హోప్ యూ హంజాయ్ ద స్టోరీ దాట్స్ వెరీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ ఐ హోప్ యూ ఆల్సో అండర్స్టూడ్ ద స్టోరీ వెరీ వెల్ uh and we will be dealing with the questions in a separate video thank you very much for watching thank you